Hi there, this is Art and Such with my Rainbow Loom tutorial for an anteater. Inspired by the dramatic anteater video on YouTube that I keep coming back to. So it's really, really cute. For this tutorial, which is somewhat of an advanced level project, you're going to need brown or gray or skin tone, um, a slightly darker color for the middle part of the nose, long part of the nose, some black bands for the bottom of the feet, the arms, and for our nose and ears. And you can use black bands or black beads for the eyes. I'm going to use black beads. You are also going to want to have one or two holding hooks on hand, your loom in the standard offset configuration, and a C-clip. So I think we're ready to start. We're going to begin by making the nose. And for our nose, we start with some brown bands. And we're going to come down four times on either side, starting at the top. Um, I'm using single bands here, I should mention, because we want this to be really narrow. I'm going to try and make this a little thinner than it was in my original design here. And in the middle row, we start just below the sides. So on the second peg, we're going to come down four times there. Now we switch to gray. We want gray once on either side and twice in the middle. Single bands as well. Take two more grays and we're going to stretch one of them from our sixth side peg to our eighth peg in the middle. So it's coming down diagonally, but it's skipping the one that's closest to it coming down. Same on the other side. And then we're going to cap this with two single black bands. You could do them both together or one at a time. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do one, wrap it two or three times. And the next one, wrap it two or three times. It's going to make it nice and thick. And if you have a nice round brown bead, black bead you'd like to stick on top, you can do that as well. So we need some holding bands and we want this to be really tight and thin. So I'm going to double over a single gray and stretch it across my six, pe my six pegs on the side and over my sixth and seven center pegs to create a diamond. And then we'll switch to brown. We'll take a single, double it over, create a triangular holding band above, and we do that two more times with brown. Doubled over singles. If you want it looser, you can always, you know, just do a single one. And so that we keep this part tight, we're going to take another single, double it over, and stretch it across our second side pegs and our third peg in the middle. And then we're ready to loop. So we're going to go under the nose now, and we're going to look for the top gray single band. And bring it up diagonally to that peg which it came from. Be very careful, we have a lot of tension here. Go back inside your block and we're going to go for the next to top one, the next top one. It goes up and to the left, very careful again. Wiggle it out slowly. If you're having a really terrible time, you can always go back and place two bands on that peg. It will make it a little bit sturdier. So we looped up the last one. That was under there that comes up once and now we can loop straight up on each rose but push back your holding bands as you go and just stop when you get to the top of each section here i'm going to go up the side now side 
and then we're going to take all of the bands which are on the top three pegs going across put them on your hook and carefully ease this off of the loom So this can go on holding hook or you can leave it on hook that it's on, either is all right. We're gonna make our arms and our legs. Actually, I'm wondering if we should take off one layer of this, make it a little smaller. Um, no, we'll leave it the way it is. Okay, so our arms and our legs, I've made three. You can make one more or three on your own, but I'll make the first one with you. It's pretty straightforward. We take a single block, wrap it three times onto the hook to create four loops and pull it onto six sets of double brown bands. And when I'm saying brown here, if you've used another color for your anteater, you can certainly, you know, you'll certainly use a different color then. Um, it's two, three, four, slide on to the sixth one. I'll get you to pause your video and make another three. All of them are going to be exactly the same size as each other. For our next part, when you're ready and you come back to the loom, we're going to start on our head, the frame of our head, which is two brown bands or skin fur colored bands coming from the top center to the top right two from the top center to the top left, down once on each of the rows with your skin color using double bands, I think I'm just going to go ahead and call this brown, it'll make it less confusing, One, once more in the middle and connect it from either side, but really push these down and try and keep them layered in order here. So there is our face, and we'll finish all the face stuff right now, we'll do that all together. So we need a doubled over single brown band, and that will come from your second peg, well, over all of your second pegs really, triangle. We'll make our eyes, if you're using bands, then you'll wrap two black bands onto your hook, three times each, and slide onto a brown a uh, brown band. If you're using beads, you can slide them onto a wire, dental floss, or a hook if your um, the hole in the beads is small enough, and transfer it onto your band by sliding your wire or floss through, bringing it around, and returning it. Now I, I mention this all the time, but I do believe I got this method from Kate Schultz's Is Delicious Designs, and. It works really, really well. Okay, this goes on the same the same pegs that had the holding band. So from the second to the second going across. And we're going to split it up in the middle and bring one of the bands over the second peg in the middle row. For our ears, we're going to take a single black band, wrap it three times and pull it onto two black bands. Put the other end on your hook and transfer it all onto the top left peg. And we'll do the same for the top right peg. Okay, we can proceed to the body. And we're going to continue using our same color here. We come down now to the right side from the third peg to the third peg with double brown bands. If you're really, really nervous apart, you can create a neck here and come down once with doubles and then come out. But I'm going to stick to my original design here. 
So two bands from the third center to the third left. And we'll come down with four sets of brown bands in the middle. And we're gonna make a quick little tail here. For our tail, we need a single band, wrap three times. You can make it tighter if you'd like. And we pull this onto seven doubled over single bands. I'm using black for my tail color here. Seven, and you can feel free to make it longer if you want a longer tail. We're going to put this onto two brown bands, so just slide it right on. And slip this over your next two center pegs. I'll show you what I mean in just a second here. Like so. And push your tail kind of to the back if you can. Just make sure this isn't twisted. sides now. We're just going to take double brown bands and come down once, twice, three times, and four times. For our next set, we're going to take two bands and we're going to grab one of our legs and slide it on and slide that from your side seventh peg to your center eighth peg. So it's coming down diagonally just below the tail here. We'll do the same on the right side. Two bands, transfer an arm or a leg off, and oh, we haven't filled in our side. Well, we'll just hold on to that there for a second. Come down your right side four times. I'm getting ahead of myself. And now this can come across those two pads, those two pegs. We're gonna take our arms and place them on the third pegs down on either side. Let's cap our bottommost center peg. It's the seven, sixth peg up if you're counting from the bottom. And I'm doing my cap three times. You can make it tighter if you want. We'll put on some triangle bands and then I'll show you how you can make the little side extension if you want it to be a little bit rounder. Okay, triangle bands. We're just going straight across and up over the center. Now from here, we're gonna take some extra sets of double brown bands and come down the side, starting at the fourth peg and going to the fifth peg. Try and keep your bands in order and on top of each other neatly if you possibly can. And come down two more times on the side there. So this will, the third set will end on top of the band that's holding your, your legs kind of Okay, we've made an extra layer just there. We'll do this again on the right side, starting from the fourth peg, coming down once, twice, three times. And we're gonna put a second layer of triangle bands. It's gonna be a little tight, but it'll be okay here. And that's just on the first three sets going up. All right, let's look and see if we've got everything, and I think that we do. Mm. 
yes we are all ready to go so take your hook and we're going to come under the leg piece or sorry under the piece at the bottom of the legs here our capping band go inside and scoop up the top two bands bring them back to the right go in again and get the next two bands bring them to the left and we can come straight up the center we'll come up the center two three four times and we'll stop just before the neck if you go that one extra it's not a problem but this is just the order I'm going to do mine now we have to come under the top bands here and find the top two uh, brown bands which come from the peg above so push back your triangle holding your triangular holding band and the bands that you just placed on this peg collect your top two carefully hold the others down and bring it up once find your next next set of top twos and bring those up once and one more time now you're going to put your thumb on that fourth peg and carefully slip the top bands off of that top layer off of those next two pegs and this one we oh, we will slide this over a little bit and we're going to go back inside and get the bottom layer now so just the bottom two this time and we'll repeat this all when we get to the right side your bottom two diagonal bands here. I'm gonna actually pull them up to the side to see it a little bit better. Scoop them through the rest and bring it to the center and we do that whole procedure on the right side. So take your top two, loop them up, push back your first triangular holding band and bring your next two bands up and over. side again get a better view do it slowly do it carefully the last thing you want is for your other bands to come out of place okay hold down the top uh, sorry the fourth peg from the top and bring this top layer sideways and over we don't want to dislodge the holding bands so though just be wary there. And go in again to collect the bottom layer. And then we're on to the hard parts. But after that it'll all be easy, easy cake. Come in again from the from under the arm. Loop up once in the center. Now we have a couple more loops to do and then we'll add our, um, our nose piece. So very carefully you're going to look for the top two bands and they should be these two bands coming from the right. I'm sorry I don't have a special trick for doing this. I'm just going to turn my loom. I'm going to look very carefully at where these bands are coming from. You can pull them out to the side if it helps you. And we loop it up once to the right side. I'm going to go back and get the other one that I missed there. At least the, the nice thing about this is once you get the first set up, the next one will be a little bit, a little bit easier to find. Take the next two over to the side and then stop there for just a minute. So we'll put our nose in. You have six loops on your hook from the nose. We're going to put the first two onto that second peg down on the side. 
and then I'll tell you this first then we're gonna go in and loop these bands up to secure it in place and then we'll place the next section put it on press it down scoop up you can even use a separate hook if you'd like and bring that forward our next set is gonna go in the middle on the third peg and I'm just gonna let it sit there for a minute and hold it and I'm gonna secure place and secure my third set on the far side and bring the bottom two bands up now we have to go back inside the nose and find the bottom most two bands again you might want to press it to the side you might need to wiggle your bands out whatever helps you is all good and we come up again in the middle and connect the side pieces, gather up the side bottom pieces back to the center. We're almost done. Okay, last thing, securing band, grab a brown band that doesn't look like it's about to break. Get it on your left finger and put your hook with the open part facing away through the bands on the top center peg. Grab your band, pull it through, slide your other end on, and pull one end over the other. We'll ease this off the loom and we'll secure everything in place. Almost done. Press your eyes through, pop them forward, set them where you'd like them. Hide your securing band at the back, and if you want the, you want his head to kind of, my God, yeah, that's right. If you want the head to kind of sit flatter or closer in, you can weave, like take another brown band and weave it through to the back to secure it. I'm just gonna slip this in behind the neck so that it pops his head up just a little bit and we'll weave that in and put it on a C-clip and you can adjust the tail so that it's sitting at the back, more at the back pull your feet down a little bit and I think we're about done here let's get the ears popped out if you have any loose bands, you can weave them in, tighten them up from the back. And there is your anteater. Thank you for watching. I hope you'll have a look at some of my other videos. And definitely check out the Gerbatic anteaters. So adorable. Okay, so thanks for watching.